I used to have such temper tantrums. I would just like lie on the floor and scream for hours if I couldn't get them to look the way I wanted. Like, like a friggin' psychopath. <laughs> right now I'm doing um, sort of concept art of my two main characters, uh, Janet and Colin. I recently got a deal to do a graphic novel with her second books called Straw House. It's the story of a traveling circus populated by immortal outcasts that comes to a small town in Rust Belt, Pennsylvania and destroys it. This is also the carnival version of a mermaid. Because you know, if you think about it, like a mermaid wouldn't have a fish tail, she'd be like a big frog. I took off to Europe when I was 17. I graduated school early and um, I went to France and Britain and Spain and Morocco and I just, I just got obsessed with it and I learned to, I really like sort of learned, like I found my voice when I was there because I had um, these wonderful sketch pads and I wanted to live up to them because the binding was so nice on them. So I just did like a million little pen and ink drawings. So I just, I just met a lot of people by just sitting around and, and drawing. I started college after the first six months trip and then I would just go to Europe or Turkey or Morocco whenever I had a school vacation. A lot of people like they're scared of sending girls to do that because they're like, oh no, they'll get raped. But um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you're at such a disadvantage in life if you spend your whole life worrying about that. I mean, I don't consider myself entirely self-taught. I had mentors and my mom's an artist, so um, she taught me a lot also. But um, I don't consider myself like, um, how, how would you put it? Like, I don't consider myself like the product of a university or something. Things that, it's dropping out of college, best thing you can do, I always say. I practically see him screaming, you're not my mom, stop bothering me. My big client that I work with a lot is a nightclub downtown called The Box. I mean, it's so amazing working with them because when I was younger, I was obsessed with the Moulin Rouge and the whole idea of like this artist, you know, drinking absinthe and sketching in the corner, these amazing performers. And that's kind of my relationship with The Box. I mean, I, I feel so lucky that this sort of archetypical um, artist fantasy of mine got realized. I've done everything for them from like theatrical curtains to bottles to invitations to um, I did their logo. One of my favorite artists, uh, Joanne Svar, who's a French comics artist who created The Rabbi's Cat and who does a lot of books about like Jewish identity and rebellion, and um, they're just wicked, funny, good stuff. He took all of his kind of studies of the cat, like you know, playing and sleeping and whatnot, and he made them into the end pages of the book. So, I mean, there is a chance that what I'm doing now, you know, might might be used for something, but right now it's mostly just for my own edification. I sold the book proposal based on five pages, which means that I have 175 pages to go of finished art, which we haven't even started on. We're just on the, the script and conceptual phase. I think this one's my favorite, Angry Colin. <laughs> he, yeah, he really looks like he's vibrating back and forth with rage because someone took his comic book. Uh, what's next? Um, Fuck if I know, my, my next year and a half is devoted to being hunched right over this drafting table, um, drawing comics pages, um, and probably devolving into some sort of hideous troll language.